Welcome to 4 Minute Film School. I'm Valentina V, and today I will be covering how to light for reflective surfaces like glasses. Let's go. Today we're lighting a sunglasses commercial because it's the ultimate reflective surface. It is on your subject's face. So how do you take care of all of the weird reflections happening in the space? Well, first, make sure that any light that is hitting the subject makes sense in the scene. It's not looking like a film light, like you brought an extra light in. And secondly, it's the operator. How do you hide the operator when the camera is pointed straight at the surface? Let's look at our first setup. The first thing I did was walk into this room and see these giant windows. Windows are a perfect way to get light onto your subject's face without actually having any film lights in the way. Instead of wearing something like bright clothes or having my hair out, I tried to disguise myself as much as possible by putting on a black mask, black pants, black gloves, any way that I could disguise myself. Secondly, there was this door, but it had this grate in it and a lot of light was passing through. So we put a floppy in the door to make sure that it was all blacked out. And I hid right in front of the door so you couldn't see me in the reflection of the glasses. If you don't have a black surface to hide in front of, you can also cover yourself with black, whether it's some sort of black fabric, a t-shirt, black felt like I used, or duvetine. This is a technique that cinematographer Reed Morano used on the film I Think We're Alone Now to hide her own reflection in the windows of a scene. Even though there was a lot of depth behind my subject, it was a little bit busy and I wanted to really just knock it out of the frame. So I took two 300 X's all the way down to 2700 Kelvin to give me that nice warm glow and punch them directly into the camera. I also made sure to put them on black stands so that you couldn't see the stands that they were on. So it just looked like two bright spots of light that were giving our subject a nice halo behind her. This is also really useful because I was moving my camera around a lot, forward, back, side to side. I wanted to give an ethereal floaty quality to the video. So it's important to have lights that can actually be in the shot that you're not trying to hide. What happens when you don't have a real window to create that reflection? This next trick, cinematographer Steve Yedlin used in the movie Knives Out to make it look like the light sources on Jamie Lee Curtis's glasses weren't actual film lights. We took strips of black cardboard and cardstock and put it in a window pattern, then taped it to a square diffusion frame. That way we could get what looks like a window, but it would actually serve as our light source. The source of the light behind that diffusion frame was a 300D2 light with its standard reflector and barn doors attached to it. Closing up the barn doors allows you to really focus that light in on the square so that it doesn't spill out onto the floor and onto the sides. The spill isn't necessarily going to affect the look of the face, but it will be seen in the reflection. We also black box this light in order to not have the spill go onto the wall behind me. Now that we have our key light, it's time to illuminate the background. We placed a 300X on its most tungsten setting pretty close to the wall. That way it would ping off all of the bricks and accentuate the brick pattern on the wall. If you move it too far away, you lose a lot of the dimension in the background. And lastly, we took a 300X on its most tungsten setting and then added a spotlight mount in front of it. We loosened the yoke on the spotlight mount so we could hand hold it and ping the lens. If you take a look at it by itself, you can see what a huge difference it makes in the image. For this shot, I instructed our model to go side to side and I did too. I didn't wanna to go too far in front of the light because then you would see me, it would actually edge me. So I tried to stay behind it, but I wanted her to move her face to get into the light and away from the light. If she was looking too much towards the light, it would have been way too much reflection on her. Not only does it thematically tie together because we have the same sort of movement going on, but it also ties together with the lighting contrast. This next hack is actually a Valentina V original. If you have a big enough white poster board, you can do this with just one piece. I had two smaller ones, so I had to tape them to a frame to keep them together. I cut a circle in the middle for my lens, stuck my camera through it, and added an ND filter on the other side to keep it secure. I also rounded the corners of it because having a more circular or oval shaped bounce is a lot more organic and natural than having those hard edges. So what you see in the reflection of the glasses is actually just a soft white bounce. Not only does it help reflect 
the sunlight that's going in behind her as the rim light, but it is hiding my entire body behind it. Without it, you see the entire operator and it just doesn't look as smooth. Now you might've noticed in the other shots, I was using a stabilizer and I was using big film lights. I shot this without a stabilizer and without any lights to show you that you can shoot something that'll fit in with the other footage and still look really, really good. So don't be worried if you don't have a lot of equipment, you can get away with a lot if you shoot in slow motion. If you're using this technique for glasses specifically, be very careful because when your model turns certain ways, the actual lens might be seen in the glasses and it could look a little bit like bug eyes, but for this commercial, we cut those parts out. All right, let's take a look at the whole commercial put together. So there is your episode on shooting reflective surfaces. Some takeaways, if you wear all black and stand in front of a black surface, you will be hidden as the operator. If you disguise your light sources to make them look like natural light sources, that will help the reflections as well. And if you can hide in shadows or hide behind something with just your lens peeking through, it won't look like a person is there. It'll look a little bit more organic. The common question for this video is, what is a product that you would like to shoot a commercial for? Let us know in the comments below for a chance to win an M9 light. My name is Valentina V. You can follow me on my socials down below. Also, if you haven't liked this video yet, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Happy shooting.